How about this for a tough choice early on? Which direction they go here is going to say a lot about what this team... Well, for more than a decade now in Big D, Jason Witten's been one of the most reliable and shorthanded pass catchers in the business. He enters 2015. Well, when you break down that pick, the talent is without question. But what's a little less obvious is how he's going to fit into the scheme. Maybe not a huge upgrade over what they had already, but they're certainly building up some depth there. Oh, and that's a key upgrade right there. He's versatile, athletic, and a big upgrade over what they had. Some tough choices coming up right about now. Do you go after the best available player or do you go after a position of need? Yeah, this is kind of a curious one if you ask me. The talent's certainly there. I'm just not sure that we'll see the best of him in a system like this. Oh, no matter where you go here, you're gonna get a truly great player. What to do here? Build up the interior of your line or get that skilled player to add another weapon? Boy, it's finger crossing time now. With the end in sight and a few more holes to fill, you've got to be hoping that there's still a gem or two that becomes available. And now, which side of the football will they address here? Some interesting options either way. And these guys are going to get themselves a great player here, whether it's A, B, or C. Boy, a tough choice here, but one that any organization would love to have. How do you go wrong with these three guys? This is a pretty telling pick here. Do you go for a big bruiser up front? And there's a pick that does fill a hole, but I'm not sure that it's really gonna be the one that improves the overall squad a tremendous amount. Well, not too tough to see into the thought process of that pick. 